Hey everyone, so we're at it again. We're about to bring you a new project. So stick with us as we go on our journey, pick up the vehicle and bring it back here so we can work on it. And remember, please subscribe, ring the bell, hit some likes, leave some comments, it all helps us out. Awesome, let's get to it. up the chains you gotta cross them did you know that no you know why why because in theory what it does is it makes a cradle for the, if this falls off you get these in the next and it'll fall into the chains if you got them spread apart it'll fall through the chains <laughs> you learn something new every day we do a light check so here are the lights and you hook it up to your truck so then yep you can see it turned on. Winkies? Yep. Other side? Yep, other side's blinking. All right, we're good, let's go. I gotta get the winch. Hint number one as to what we're picking up. We need a winch. Trailer, time to roll. The kitten has caught a mouse. Oh, probably it's first mouse. They're doing their job already, hey? Oh my goodness. Yep. You can see the mother over there. Just a tiny one. Yeah, how many? Yeah. There's three. How many are there? There's seven. There's seven all together. Oh, there's another one. There's four. Yeah. Well, we might take one of these homes. Remember yep. which one's got the mouse, because maybe we'll take that one. We need a mouse or for our <laughs> Too bad. Good. You're here for the truck? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, if you want to just follow this road, it'll veer to the right around that building. Okay. I'll meet you back there.
lava cone. Fireworks. Okay, here's what we're here to get. That is a 67 Chevy C10. He's actually got quite the collection here. You know, there's a GM down there too. Pretty much the sister truck to this, matching. Couple stuff over here. Nice step side. The Monza. Just do a quick walk around here. We'll look at it a little bit more once we uh, see its manual transmission. Small rear window in it. We get some wheels on this thing, but it's fairly complete for the most part. So we're gonna get it loaded up, get it on the truck, and off we go. And this is a neat property, let me tell you. He's got a lot of neat old antique stuff here. Love it. We're gonna hopefully show some of it off, and I'll get back to you. see that wow you're gonna have to come back take a look at that someday <laughs> Guess what we're doing today? We're gonna to take one of these, a little of that, some of this, one of those, and we're gonna see what we can do with this. Let's get started. Well, let's get the hood open. There we go. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get that battery in there. Trays in lovely condition. Look at that. Get in there and take a look at that. That is fantastic. Now that goes down to the starter, so we're going to assume that's our positive, which is not really how I want to mount the battery in there, but it doesn't reach, so we have to flip it. All right. It goes right there. Do we have a negative cable? Let's have a look. This looks like a negative cable there, doesn't it? 
Now, before we hook this up, oh, that's in fantastic. Look, good connection there. Let's see if we get positive rotation on the engine. So sometimes you can just grab the fan, watch your belt here, and watch if the crank turns. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty smooth. Maybe a little too smooth, but this is good. It's not locked up. All right. It, I'm going to say that's got eh, 20 PSI of compression or something like that. So we're going to get the air cleaner off here. And we're going to remove the feline. Come here. You don't want to be in there when this thing fires off. Stop. Just... Oh, that's, that's some nice stuff in there. All right. Old oil bath style clean air cleaner here. Just get some of this out of the way. There we go. Whoa, we're gonna make a mess. Okay, set that aside. Now, we got our old carburetor there. And uh, we better make sure this has got some oil in it. Oh, look at that. Yep. Yeah, it's about 10W30. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do is we should disconnect this fuel line. So, I'm going to go get a wrench and take that off. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's get that off of there. Now, the reason we're taking this off is if this thing does actually fire up, we don't want it sucking any garbage into there just I'm sure it's full of garbage already but we're, we're just going to avoid putting more garbage in it okay now we're going to prime it with the old blue juice no this is not your RV toilet water this is pre-mixed fuel got a little bit of oil in there and the fuel uh, and it just helps kind of lubricate things up when we start cranking on this thing so we're going to try to get a little bit down the cat carburetor here oh yeah I'll get a little bit in the float bowl. Don't want to put too much in there. Because if it does light off and something goes wrong, we want it to be able to quit soon. Now, normally you'd pull the spark plugs out and stuff like that. We're not going to do that. Okay, now we need a, the jumper lead because I don't have a set of keys for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the jumper from the positive side of the battery over to the positive side of the coil. And that should energize the coil. Now we don't want to do that right away because if we make the coil hot, we can burn it out. I'm sure everything's just in lovely shape here. Yeah, that's 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 not good. Okay, let's do it anyways. Let's see if that ground goes on. Put that there. Clip that onto there. There we go. Tuck this up out of the way. I don't want you standing in front of the vehicle when we do this. Stand off to the side, please. We get our starter down here. I don't have any juice going there. Okay, ready? Well, she's spinning. She's not sparking. Usually, well, we don't know if it's sparking or not. Usually that could be the, the points. So maybe we'll pull the distributor cap off. Just trying to avoid taking any of the wires off, but I don't think we're going to have much of a choice. Okay. So we got no spark there. All right. Well, I'll disconnect our coil for now. And we're going to take a look at that distributor cap. Those, those bad boys are opening. Okay, well, we can see that they're opening and closing, but I'm not seeing a spark there. So we're going to have to look into this and see what's going on. Okay, so we took, took, took a little sandpaper and cleaned up the points. Let's see what we've got now. See some sparking happening there. So uh, let's go give this another try.
And now we're testing to see if we're getting our spark to our spark plug, so let's have a look. There you go, you can see the flash there. Okay, so that one's got spark. This is good, good sign. That one's sparking. Let's put a little more of the blue juice in it, see what happens. Way too much, perfect. Let's turn it again. We got a runner, boys. <laughs> oh, oh, stinky. <laughs> well, I think we should do that again. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? You want to put a little more fluid down there and see what happens? Yes. See if we can start a fire? Yeah. All right. Definitely. Fires are great. Yeah, you like your fires, crazy boy. I'm sure I get some in the float bowl this time. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Starter's going. We got it to fire a little bit. That starter's going now. It's a little hard to work the throttle from over on that side. Well, that might be all we're getting out of it. Motorcycle sound. Unless we change that starter. I don't know if I got another starter put on there. Blue juice. Choke it a little bit. That's not smart having my hand over that. That's another one you and I got going. Hmm? Put her there, buddy. We did good. Nice. Okay, well, there we go. We got it to fire up. Unbelievable. I have no idea how long that thing's been sitting, but that didn't take much, did it? Nope. No, we were out here for just a few minutes. Yeah. Nice. Do that to give it a little bit. <laughs> oh. oh, you smell that fuel? That's oh man, that's nasty. Oh, yeah. oh that smells like the dog <laughs> ate the skunk and threw it back up. Like that is nasty. Oh. Okay, so there you go. We picked it up, we got it running, and it didn't take us long to do that. But we need to know what to do with it. So if you do us a favor, subscribe, ring the bell, leave some comments down below. Tell us what you think we should do with this. I'm telling you right now, the body's pretty rough, but we might tackle it anyways. Until next video, thanks for watching.